Registered Dietitian, and today we are gonna make chili. We're actually gonna make two kinds of chili. What I have here is a package of regular beef, and I have a new, like, vegan, plant-based, ground beef substitute. And I thought we would make a really simple, like, Tuesday night, not complicated, not the kind that's gonna, like, win neighborhood chili cook-off kind of chili but just kind of like compare and contrast the, both of them. So they're coming in the same packages. We're gonna make two of the identical. Comparing the nutrients in these, and I'm, listen, I'm all about people like, you know, trying to save the planet, advocating for animal rights, big fan of both of those things. So I'm not really gonna to touch on any of that in this video. Knowing that choosing to be vegan for just nutritional purposes is not necessarily a better choice, okay? It is a lifestyle. Okay, with regular beef, first ingredient and only ingredient is beef, period. This one has water, soy protein concentrate, coconut oil, sunflower oil, 25% iron, natural flavors, 2% or more of less of potato something mega globin b12 it's good that it has b12 so it's a really great vegetarian product plant-based protein is of a different biological value than animal-based protein if you're consuming mostly plant-based protein and it says that it has 19 grams of protein in it you're probably only consuming about 70 to 80 percent of those 19 grams Whereas when you eat an egg or you eat chicken or you eat yogurt, if something has 19 grams of protein, you're probably netting after digestion the same amount, almost one to one. If you are vegan or vegetarian, or you simply just don't like red meat and it grosses you out, wonderful to have on hand. But if you are not vegan and you are not vegetarian, I'm going to still encourage you to eat ground beef or ground turkey. So that's my professional opinion on that. However, please consult your physician or your registered dietitian for your specific protein requirements. Thanks. Okay, I'm gonna make a super easy chili. It's like five ingredients and it's delicious. It's great for Tuesday night. So let's get started on that. First thing you need are those chili packs. Don't knock them until you try them. Spices don't really last more than six months max. These are great because the ingredients on these are simple. It's chili pepper, it's cumin, onion, salt, garlic, and other spices. The end. Sealed container, they don't get stale, and they're quick, and they're easy to use, and they make a great base. So let's get started. So this is the beef. So it's always good to have more. This is another one of those open and dump recipe. So if you are not a fan of cooking or touching meat, you can do this without touching meat, which is cool. And it breaks apart pretty easily. I have the vegetarian one on the higher burner because I figured it needs to get more heat to get some color on it. Let's just see what it does. You know, it's pretty close. This is regular 93% lean. And this is the vegetarian one. It's got good color. It's definitely a processed food though. Look at that. See that brown stuff on the bottom right there? That's called fond. That's good stuff. It's nice to see these vegetarian substitutes. It creates that umami flavor. It just, it's that other, Greg, you're gonna have to put in there what umami is in the definition. It's definitely drier. Look at that. The beef actually has, looks like a little bit of water in it. So I don't have any of that really gorgeous crumbly stuff to like pull off the bottom. According to the instructions on the back of the spice packet. Diced tomatoes, undrained. I'm gonna turn this down, it's starting to burn. I'm gonna add some water. That is just, I will add it to both, even though it looks like this one is the one that needs it. I'm just gonna add a little bit, just to get that gorgeous stuff off the bottom. I will add some of the water to the other one. Anything I do to one, I will do to the other. Get both. 
could use it. Don't be rude. One can of beans, undrained. Undrained? I'm gonna just quickly drain them. No, no thank you. So what I did was I opened the top, I drained some out, and then I sort of rinsed the top with water to kind of get some water and drained it again. So I have black beans in this one because it's beef so that I can just tell them apart. Honestly, I think the vegetarian one looks pretty freaking good. It's actually holding up better than regular beef. Packet of seasoning in each. This is how you open a package of seasoning. If you've never seen anybody do that before, you dump it in. I'm gonna doctor this up just a smidge. I do keep Worcestershire, two tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce. It just adds great depth of flavor. And I'm gonna add two tablespoons to the beef mixture, two tablespoons to the vegetarian mixture, one teaspoon of salt to each one, and a little bit of pepper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. Whoops, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. 20 turns with the pepper mill. Other than that, everything else is identical. I lost count. That is Tuesday night chili. I'd let it like simmer for like 10 or 15 minutes. The vegetarian one looks pretty freaking close. That looks really good. What do I like to top chili with and serve it with? I like to add a little bit of shredded cheddar. I realize this is not vegan, but I'm going to add cheddar to this one anyway just for comparison. Green onion. They're cheap, they're easy to do. A little bit of that. And you know what I to serve it with? Oh man, the kids got in the chips. So I bought a whole bag of chips for this show. I hardly have any left. Kind of pile on some chips on the side. And that's how my family likes to eat chili. Okay, I'm going in. So this is the beef one. I can tell because it's got black beans in it. I'm glad I did that. It's great. For a chili that hardly like, hardly any work. You should do that. It's perfect for like Tuesday night. It doesn't have to be like, oh, chili. I get you. I hear you. There's more amazing chili out there that's been cooked for hours and Tons of time has been devoted to it. I am in no way saying that this is that. But this is great for Tuesday night or whatever night of the week. It's a quick thing to have and you just pull it together. Well, it's kind of fun. It's kind of good. Am I missing anything? And something like this, you almost can't tell it. It could be that I'm really hungry. I'm always hungry. So the argument for plant-based is, this is a great product if you are vegetarian. I highly recommend it. It's, it's a great choice, and I highly recommend that you make something simple. It doesn't have to be gourmet every time you try to get in the kitchen. Make something that's just good enough. That's great. That's all you have to do. Have a great day. I'm gonna have some lunch. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.